let's look at solving problems uh, where we have two equal fractions that involves cross multiplying, but a little bit more in depth cross multiplying. Uh, I made an earlier video about why cross multiplying works. I would urge you to go watch that. It really comes down to the fact that I would like to get rid of the fractions so I could multiply both sides by two, which would divide this out. And then I could, on this other side, multiply both sides by three to divide that out. But what it always looks like is that just this thing got multiplied across the equal sign by 3. And you got to make sure and do both numbers. 3x times 3 is 9x. And 7 times 3 is 21 equals. And then we do the other way, like that. 2 times 4x is 8x. And 2 times 1 is 2. And then I like to bring the x's. To one side, I always bring them almost always to the left, like that. So I have 1x, and then I subtract 21 to bring the non-x stuff to the other side. So negative 19. And I could divide both sides by 1, but it won't really matter. x is negative 19. Let's do this. Again, I just want to remind you, this works when we have a fraction equal to a fraction. So 2x minus 4 times 3 would be 6x minus 12. And then we do 7 times 8x plus 1. So 56x plus 7. Okay, I'm going to bring the x's over. So minus 56x. It's a big negative number here. I'm going to add 12, divide by negative 50. That's a fraction. I don't think it reduces. So our answer is just negative 19 over 50. Here are a couple more examples. And again, anytime it's a fraction equal to a fraction, we can employ cross-multiplying. So here would be 8x minus 16. Just make sure everything gets multiplied. It's almost like parentheses, like the 7 gets multiplied by everything there. So I'm going to bring the x's over. Bring the non-x's to the other side. Divide both sides by negative 13. I meant that to be a 30. So x is negative 30 over 13. All right, let's do one last example. It, it, I tried to do ones here where the x's are in different spots because it tends to throw people when they see the x's kind of be moved around. Do not be fooled. It's the same thing. Anytime a fraction is equal to another fraction, we can do this. Bring the x's to the left. Bring the non-x's to the other side. Divide both sides by 5. x is 9 fifths. This is how we can use cross-multiplying to solve proportion problems. I'll put a link here to an earlier video if you want to see kind of how this started and some simpler examples and, how, and why it works the way it does. But if this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more math help.